My husband had an affair with his distant cousin. He got her pregnant. When I confronted them, we had a fight and the next week she miscarried. Was it my fault? I don't know where to begin or where to end this story. I can't discuss this with anyone I know because I feel like an asshole while also feeling justified at the same tome. This story will also sound made up, but it's really not, and I'm just hurting and want some place to type it all out too. I, F36, have been with my husband, M39, for over a decade. Early on, I had to have a hysterectomy due to health complications and told him if he wanted kids, we should go our separate ways. He insisted he was strictly child-free and didn't want kids. In every other way, we were perfect for each other. A few years into our marriage, we even had the chance to adopt a little girl from a family member's unplanned pregnancy. I was thrilled, but he still didn't want kids, so she was adopted elsewhere. Not being a mom hurt, but I accepted it. Sometime back, my husband started acting weird. You know how you just know when someone you love changes? He came home late avoided cuddles, and was cold. He denied anything was wrong, but I could tell he was lying. Whenever I tried to talk to him about it, he'd tell me I'm being psycho and controlling. So, I snooped through his phone and found evidence of a very long affair. I'm not proud of it, but I did it. I needed that peace of mind. His mistress, F26 or 27, whom he'd introduced to me as his cousin, was around less than two months pregnant. They were discussing marriage after he divorced me. He admitted he didn't want to divorce me yet because he would lose our house, which I funded entirely. He'd also been using our joint account, which I contribute significantly more to, I earn considerably more than him, to pay for her rent and hospital expenses. When I confronted him, he admitted to the affair and her pregnancy. She came over and things got heated. I tried to blame him, not her, but after a lot of tears and fighting, I lost control and told them that I hoped they lost the child. I'm not proud of it, but I said it. He moved out of my house the next day, not sure where they live now. A few weeks later, she had a miscarriage. They blame me and believe I caused it. She came to our house, slapped me, banged my head against the wall, and kicked me. I was not significantly injured. He didn't hurt me physically, but he didn't stop her either. Yes, I was foolish to let them in, but I am in a weird mental state too, and didn't expect her to hit me. Maybe I deserved it. I may have felt the same if someone said something like that about my unborn child and lost it. I, I won't file charges because it's not an option in my country, and maybe I deserved the beating for what I said. I just want to know if I'm the asshole, and if yes, how big of an asshole I am. Edit. What I said was so unforgivable in my religion. Wishing something bad on an unborn baby is like unforgivable. It's not some small thing that's why I feel like an asshole. A child is considered God's blessing. I said all that and cursed them. And maybe my anger and envy created Nazar. That's why I think him the asshole. Logically, I know I didn't cause it to actually happen, but the bad thing happened because I thought bad and because I was hurt, my bad thoughts had effect. Relevant Comments Original poster on the discussion she had with her husband about having children despite her health complications. Original poster. Because I was never sure whether he was child-free because I couldn't have kids, or if he really was child-free because he wanted to be. So when we had the opportunity to adopt a child, I wanted to pursue it to have a chance at being parents, if he wanted it too. Assault isn't okay in my country either, but we have a poor judicial system and no one is likely to take me seriously for some minor temporary injuries. I'd also rather not drag this out any further. Original poster on the divorce laws in her country. Original poster. Divorce laws in my country somewhat favor the woman and the house title is on my name. For a criminal case, I'll have to go to the police, who are very corrupt, convince them to file a case, and then all on this will become entirely public, which I want to avoid. I don't want to interact with the police here, which is one more reason I don't want to press charges. Commenter, I have several questions. How is Nazar different than karma? How is it more real than karma? Isn't having sex with a married man wishing bad things on another woman? Now you have made many hints at the type of country you live in. Most of them tend to have women more in the home than the workplace. I am very impressed if a little confused as to you making more money, and buying the house, etc. Original poster Yes, 
It is not common. But my husband and his family gave me permission to work. I do not go to an office but have a business, so I am allowed to continue doing it. In my religion, it is not prohibited for women to hold property, and you can even ask for it during your marriage. I did not want to mention which country, because people may judge me. Nazar is real because it is true, and I have faced it. Yet again, after this incident, I believe that Nazar is real. Update 1 I've been meaning to post an update for a while now, but was just so occupied with everything going on. After everything that happened, my in-laws found out that my husband and I are staying separately, because he also stopped sending them money for their upkeep. They called me, and I told them everything honestly, including what I said. My in-laws completely took my side. They threatened to cut their son out of their lives for his infidelity, and were also angry about the embarrassment he has caused them. They've told him that the only way he can make it up to them is by obtaining my forgiveness and making it up to me. I'm thankful for them. They also informed my parents and reassured them that they'll be supporting me no matter what. I've been living with my in-laws since. Many of you were right. She was never pregnant and never had a miscarriage. She couldn't provide any evidence of pregnancy or a miscarriage. According to my mother-in-law, I think my husband realized she'd been lying about her pregnancy only after leaving me. It also turns out that she really is my husband's distant cousin, so he wasn't lying about that at least. She apparently begged my in-laws not to tell her own parents, but they went ahead and told them anyway. Word spread, and she is now in shame for premarital sex, that too with a married man. I don't know specific details about her, but I think she's pretty much been put under house arrest by her parents other than for absolutely essential trips. My parents are too old to have much of an opinion. They are reassured that my in-laws are on my side and are happy with anything I do. My husband and I are still not on good terms, but I still love him very much. I need time to heal from this and a proper apology, which I'm yet to receive. But once I do, I'm inclined to take him back. I, I think he currently resents me because of the backlash he got. I think he was fully expecting me to be on the receiving end of it, as I was and is upset that his parents took my side. But eventually, I think he will realize the error of his ways. I don't know if this update is happy or not, but my heart feels lighter. Edit. Um, not Indian. Not. That I have any problems with India or Indians. I'm 36 years old and it'll be hard for me to find anyone else after this. I'm not being a doormat, I'm being practical so I won't be lonely later. Relevant Comments Commenter, I am truly sorry about this. However, you will be making a very big mistake to take this man back. He cheated on you with his distant cousin and supported his AP's lies that she was pregnant. He does not deserve you, nor does he respect you. You should completely divorce him and get him out of your life. Just think about this OP. You deserve to be happy. Commenter, I'm sorry OP, but you need to grow up and grow a spine. Harsh words incoming. You need to read them. Let's see. He cheated on you. He stole from you. He allowed his AP to physically assault you. He lied to you multiple times. And after all of this, you'd take him back if he apologizes? Come on, have a little self-respect. You have a great job. You own the home. File for divorce, get some therapy, and learn that you are worth so much more than how you've been treated.